hi everyone in this video i want to share with you things you need to do before casting your floor slab okay before casting your decking or before casting your floor okay these things if you refuse to do them it might bring problems for you okay so stay close to this video as i list out things you need to do before you cast your decking everyone welcome back to this channel Olam of Ghana where we talk about everything real estate here in Ghana and beyond today I'm bringing glad tidings to you from the hillside of Abokobi on a six bedroom luxurious home that we are building for a wonderful client for those of you who has been following this channel for some time this is not anything news to you we titled this project project Ima and it comes with four floors the basement the ground floor, the first floor, and the second floor. So at the moment, we are preparing to cast the second floor. But I want to share very wonderful, um, very important information with you. If you don't check some of these things, I would advise you don't go ahead to cast. These things, some of them might have been put in place, but it's still very important the day you are coming to cast or 24 hours to the day of casting, make sure you check all these things I'm going to be listing to you in this video number one inspection okay you have to inspect the carpentry work the steel benders work the electrician work and the plumbers work this is very very vital yes while well, the carpenters were done with their work we move around your building contractor as inspect everything but it's still very important in case if you are the one in charge of your building project yourself, make sure before they start pouring concrete to form your first floor or second floor slabs, all these things are being inspected. Now, sometimes we might have checked around that, oh, the carpenters, they are done with all their work, everything is okay. But there is what we call the overlook. Because you can imagine, as we are casting concrete, everybody, all hands are on deck. Everybody is pushing for the concrete to be casted and completed as early as possible. Then one of the wood section or the formwork dismantled. Some accident happened due to some places where they are supposed to brace, some places where they are supposed to put maybe a plywood or a two by four. They couldn't do that. Or there's some kind of an oversight that we couldn't see that there's a problem in that angle. So for just to be sure that yes the form work for the project we are coming to cast is properly done where the needs brazing has been done where the needs support every support has been put in place we have to move around once again most of the time you see some people they will just climb the slab itself they will be checking you have to move under and also while the concrete casting is going on you still have to keep moving around the project, move from one section to another section of the project. As the concrete work is moving, you also have to be checking. Do you see that there is a problem? Do you see that maybe some of the plywood is trying to open up? Is it the support board? Is it the bamboo that is trying to run out of its position? You investigating, looking around, monitoring what is going on around the slab that is being worked on it's one thing that you shouldn't joke with that is going to help to be able to make sure no problems occur now when it comes to the steel benders work you still have to inspect it again on the day of casting you see they might have done their own binding wire joining the 12 mm joining the 16 mm joining the 10 mm to form all the steel work that is needed for that floor 
you have also inspected the work when they were done. But now we are coming to cast. Don't overlook. Still check again. Maybe during the time you inspect their work when they were done, there might, there might have been some oversight. So you have to still come around again. You check in case when you see some kind of a loose steel that's supposed to be tightened together, or maybe you see that maybe there is a shift in a, a beam or a columns, or maybe the alignment is not in order, you can still quickly make that correction before they pour concrete on it. Now, the plumbing work, yes, it has been inspected when the plumber was done, but you still have to make sure you check it out because sometimes you might have checked everything while other professionals still came on the sites to work. There might have been some kind of a shift. There might have been some kind of an oversight, overlook, something that you didn't even think supposed to be a mistake or a problem might have occurred. So as they're coming to cast the concrete, check the plumbing work again. The electricians too, they've come to lay all their pipes around for them to be able to transfer or distribute the powers for all the rooms, all the space, all the partitions you've done. Still look around. Sometimes maybe some pipe must have gone broken, which maybe while you came to inspect their work, it, there's an oversight. So it's very, very important to do another final inspection before they will start casting the concrete on that particular floor, okay? So right now, as we are coming to cast, we've already checked, move around to check the work that the capitals has done. And to our surprise, we still discovered some small, small things that needed to be adjusted. While we are inspecting the steel benders' work as well, we saw some small, small little things that are supposed to be adjusted. And you can see the steel benders we brought in to come and work on them. And also, we look at the plumbing aspect too. We see some small, small things. Maybe there is a shift in the pipes, the slope of some of the um, toilet pipe was there's a shift in it now we've also adjusted them so it's very important to perform this inspection few minutes before the work will get started okay now the second thing you have to do before you commence your concrete casting for your decking or your flow is to ensure that 24 hours before the day of your casting or even if it is 12 hours before the time you are coming to start make sure the machine that you are coming to use to mix the concrete and supply the concrete to the floors has already been fixed. Some of the mistakes some of us made is that you want them to bring the machine on the day you want to cast. You see, it takes them hours. It's not something that they can just come, they will fix it in the next 10 or 30 minutes. It takes a lot of effort. Can you imagine? This is the machine we are coming to use for this casting today. You can see the work that has been done positioning of the machine, setting up the rods to hold up the, the wires that will transfer the mixed concrete to the, to the slabs floor. You see, it's not something that you can just come, you fix them within a few minutes. You have to make sure that the machine has been fixed before, at least 24 hours before the time you want to start the concrete casting of your decking. This is going to help in terms of maximizing the eight hours that you've been allotted. Maybe they will go for one hour or one and a half hour break at least. You can maximize the six hours effectively and make sure your concrete job is done once and for all. The third thing you have to do before you commence your concrete casting is to ensure that all the materials needed are already on site okay if you are going to be using two trucks of stone as you have over here this one truck of stone this another truck of stone make sure they're already on ground don't be waiting that the day you want to start your concrete casting is the day they have to supply you your stone it is very very wrong okay make sure you have your stone on ground make sure the sand you are going to be needing the sharp sand you are going to be needing for the concrete casting make sure it also on ground okay the cement you are going to be using as we have it on the floor over here we are making use of 42.5 hour grade of cement and the brand we're using is super sim okay so make sure your cement tool is available on ground now the tools that they're going to be using which is a wheelbarrow make sure you have all your wheelbarrow to be on site as early as possible at least 7 a.m your wheelbarrow should be in, or you make sure the wheelbarrow comes in 24 hours with the mixing machine so that everything will be on ground. So the earth pan, 
the shovels that you are going to be needing, you make sure they are on ground. So the masons that are going to be working on the slab, so we make sure they also come in with all their tools that are needed, their levels, their everything that they are going to be needing. Make sure everything is available before you let them start the machine for the commencement of the concrete casting. Okay. So these are the three major things that you have to ensure. It is being done before you start your concrete casting. Number one, inspect the work of the carpenter, the work of the steel bender, the plumber, and the electrician. Do a final inspection before the commencement of the concrete casting. So you can do it 24 hours before you are coming to cast your concrete. In case if there's any one or two things that need to be done, make sure that it is being done. And there's one thing I also had. Make sure on the day of the casting, the carpenter is around. You see, when it comes to concrete casting, where the major problem is to come from is the woodwork. So it's very vital you ensure that the carpenter is on ground. Whether he has work to do or no work to do, just make sure the carpenter is around. Well, sometimes the pressure of the concrete we are pouring can cause some kind of accident. Some problem might just occur through the formwork because all these old things, they all relies on the formwork. So it's very, very important. After you are done inspecting, make sure that the machine that will be mixing the concrete to is on ground 24 hours before your casting. Make sure it is being fixed, make sure they start it, make sure it is working perfectly. Then thirdly, make sure that all the building material, everything are also ready, okay? Your sand, your stone, your cement, everything they are on ground, the wheelbarrow, the shovel, the head pans, you make sure everything are on ground. If you expect all this and everything gives you a pass mark, then you can tell the machine operator to switch on the machine for the work to get started. Okay? My name is Olamosh and I'm speaking from Olamosh Reality and Construction. Okay? We are building contractor when it comes to architectural work, when it comes to real estate consulting service, when it comes to um, building, contracting, construction, we are here to render out this real estate service to you, okay? If you're searching for land in any part of Accra, we have four locations that we are selling land at the moment, okay? Number one, we have lands at Aikuma. Aikuma is a very great location. The land is very, very sweet and very beautiful, not far from the Aikuma Police Station and Aikuma Government School. We have a lot of developing estate around this Ayukuma land and I will advise you to quickly come on board to come and secure a plot or more over there. Number two, we have land at Dodoa. This is on the hillside of Dodoa behind the district hospital. From there you have a breathtaking view of the Dodoa township. I really love this location as well. We have a lot of houses around this place. You can start building and after a few, one or two years you can as well move into this place. Number three location is Abokobi on the hillside over here. We have only two plots left at the moment. We have new clients which has also secured one of the plots we have available. If you want to enjoy, you are looking for a very beautiful place to build a vacation home, your retired home or a dream home that you really want to feel happy and feel on top of everybody, then you have to come to the hillside. At the moment, it's still quite affordable. So I advise you to come on board to come and buy land over there. So the last location is Katamanso. This is a very beautiful location just around the elegant homes, around the data center. We have a lot of contemporary homes that are springing up left and right at this location. We have a lot of real estate developers building expensive homes to be sold to people like you. So the best time for you to also come and secure your own plot of land is today. Now all these locations I've mentioned no longer an issue, the all comes with title certificates. Start building immediately without any problem, okay? You have to build your dream home, be it a commercial project. We are available to help you to build your dream home. Get in touch with us. We are here to help you to start this project and deliver on time, okay? Don't forget, share this video with friends and family, and we are also going to be here to make things work out for you. See you some other time. Bye.